respect people. All right, y'all, so I got a little maintenance. Got my filters here. So I'm, uh, guess I can do a little video washing the coils, changing the filters, just doing my little inspection. I come out on this property, I think once or twice a year. Yeah, they got a, yeah, once a year on this maintenance right here. But anyway, I'll just set the camera up and go to work. All right, so these are micro channel coils on this package unit. It's a rude package unit. Micro channel coil, so it's, you know, we got a major highway. I can show you. This is I-10, which is a major, major highway. I'm sure a lot of you know. Tad is so it's true. All right, so we got a major highway right here, so. I'm sure there's a lot of dust that these units be kicking in and these micro channel coils, so we want to get them clean. Like I say, it may not look bad, but very important to keep these clean. When I work, all I'm focused on is what I'm doing. Any other distraction for a life, anything like that, is not my concern. The only concern I have right now is this unit and these coils right here. That take one thing at a time. That's all we can do. I don't want my mind too much drift off on anything else. Let's take care of the customer right now. Sometimes I may have an audio book on or something like that, but other than that, Focus on one thing at a time.
have to have some tail bars on here to present that to the customer. Alright folks, I think I got all the tools that I need to do my little maintenance on this one. I got a drill, temperature probe, meter, amps, and pressure. I may check the pressures, I may not. I'm gonna de maybe determine that off my temperature differential. I'm gonna drop the heat back. I still had a unit off. Never mind the disconnect uh, disconnect box. I wrote a proposal to the customer, took pictures. You know, it's a tough time, guys. but it's okay. It's sealed. No water is in there. But for cosmetic purposes, it needs to be changed. So I'm just gonna get in, take a look around, make sure we don't have any burnt wires or burnt, burnt connections. Like a do like a visual inspection. Looking for loose wires or any burnt connections. My incoming feed right here is 460 volts, folks. I got zero. For a good ground. Zero, zero, zero. So we're safe to work on these, folks. Like I said, I'm just gonna fill around, make sure we don't have any loose connections. Cap is rated for 10 microfarad. In 8.5, 8 8.53. 8 All right, so we got, that may be borderline low. So I got 10 minus 10% 10 on that one. I got nine. That should have been dummy math, huh? 10% on 10, but anything lower than, that's an 8.5. I'll let the customer know, I'm gonna write it up. And also, I got an 8.5 on that, okay? I'm checking loose connections on my contactors. All the contact, we can just go and kind of give it a little snug. But as you can see, we're only using the spade terminals for these. But on this one, I can give it a little turn, rather kind of twist. 
Okay, that's tight. Sometimes you'll get a full turn on these things. Okay, all that is good. Okay. I can see right through them coils. So they clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that coil also from the inside out while we got it open. So the point of these PMs, I mean, to me, it's for a peace of mind for the customer. Although I'm looking for repairs, that's how I make my money, but But for the customer, I mean, we, we're not doing anything spectacular to the unit. The lady says it's cool and fine. But some people like to put these units on the roof and never have anybody come and look at them. It's always a good idea to have us come inspect them. Do a little cleaning to it. Cause if I do this every year, just watch these coils. I tried to get it to do it quarterly, but a lot of times they don't own the building, so they want to do the least amount. Yeah, that coil is good. I need to get all this dirt here off here too. Clean it up in there. I had somebody watch this department with water before. True store. I done seen some things. All right, so this here is the evaporator section. tension on that belt, it's okay. Since I got it open, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this coil as well. Go ahead and place these filters. Hello? Hello? I'm not interested.
put in there nice. Then we get the old filters for the added protection. They got customers down there. We don't want to wet them up. So we'll go in that ductwork. All right. But I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this pool. But it does need cleaning. We want to take your time with this because you do not want to flood the inside of the building or even get the insulation in that duct wet. So let's spray a little bit, let it drain out. Should be good. That should be good, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna let that drain. Let it kind of dry for a minute. I'm gonna fire back up. And we'll put our filters in. Let's go see if it's draining.
folks. So I'm gonna close, I'm gonna put the panel back on this part right here. And we can check the amps on our compressor. We're just gonna follow the wires. So we'll know this is my compressor contact it look like. This is T7, two T3, it's probably condensed. That's a fan motor. I'm guessing. Oh, that's a perfect wire. Let me straighten all this stuff up. Uh, anyway, we're going to check the compressor and the fan. Compressor is rated for 16 amps. Okay, my outdoor fan is rated for 2.2. My indoor blower motor is 3.4. So hopefully we are with, within those. Yeah. All right, folks, I'm gonna try to cover this up as much as possible. So we're gonna start off with the condenser fan motor. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Condenser fan motor, folks. We got 1.3, 1.3 on my condenser fan motor. This is for my blower motor. Got about 2.5. Six. All right, these wires here come to my compressor. Remember my values, I got uh, about 8.6. Everything is under the, the limits. Compressor is rated for 16. Outdoor fan motor, I had 1.6. And my indoor fan motor, I was at like two something. And it's rated for 3.4. All right. So I guess we can just go ahead and check suppressors. Uh, I've been running for maybe 10 minutes. Oil still may be a little wet. Check a temperature differential on the heat valve. It's a return. All right, so let's get a temperature differential before we check pressures. Seventy. So we want to see about fifty or fifty-five on the supply. Definitely blowing snowballs 
That's what we want to see. Definitely blowing cold, right? Uh, Got 43 on the supply. Go ahead and check the pressure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, y'all, I had an important phone call. Sorry I couldn't finish up that maintenance, but uh, I was on the phone for probably about 15 minutes. But anyway, pretty much got that one wrapped up. I went on to check the pressures on the suction line. That's what I was doing, but it's blowing cool. Really didn't have to do that, but I did not hook up the uh, discharge because I don't want to lose any unnecessary refrigerant. But uh, this was a success. We could have moved on to the next one, getting a little cloudy. But it said it was going to rain today. I don't know. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. Peace.